We're tearing down the KX250. We're gonna dive into this thing. We're gonna get the motor out, see how bad it is, and uh, see how much extra money I have to spend after the last video of locking this thing up. Um, if you guys missed the first ride video, watch it after this video if you wanna see how I actually blew this thing up. I'm curious to see how much damage we did to this thing. Um, I power washed it up, cleaned it up, and uh, to be honest, it's really not too bad. I thought it was gonna be a lot worse. A quick little power wash, and uh, the thing actually cleaned up pretty nice. Um, I'd say one of the cleaner builds that I've done from like baseline. It'll be a little bit easier to vapor hone and clean this thing up. We'll get this thing torn down in this video, get a parts list put together, and uh, we'll go from there and uh, see what we're gonna do with this thing. If you wanna see what I decided to do with this thing, either match it to my 125, still using the OEM 05 frame, or the other option was buying a 2020, like a newer 17 and up 250F roller, and then uh, putting this engine in that, and uh, doing it that way, like a modern um, two-stroke build, or whatever you wanna call it. So that'll be up on my Instagram if you guys don't wanna wait multiple videos to uh, actually see what I'm gonna do with this thing. It's gonna be kinda out of order because I'm gonna take the engine out first for like YouTube thumbnail purposes. It's out of order, I know, it's not normally how I would take it apart. But don't beat me up too hard in the comments. All right, so if you guys wanna see this thing finished up and you're new, make sure you're subscribed, like the video if we're finally doing a 252 choke build. Let me know what kind of parts you want me to put on this thing. I'll stop talking and we'll get to tearing this thing down. Money, money. Money, money. down anymore because I don't think I'm gonna use most of these parts for right now I'm just gonna leave the bike as is I got most of all the stuff off laid out ready to go to uh, get cleaned up and put back on I'll probably take off a couple other little things to actually put in the blast cabinet to clean up regardless but for this video's sake I'm not gonna take anything else off we're gonna dive into the engine and uh, see what kind of damage we did here this is what I'm most excited for to see taking a look at the spark plug I don't really have to say anything if the camera will pick it up. There's a look at the plug. You guys can make your assumptions based on this, but uh, we'll get this thing torn down. Let's see how much extra money we gotta spend now. <laughs> oh my God. As soon as I took the head off, as you can see, huge hole in the piston. So that's definitely not good. That would explain the zero compression when I kicked it and then I probably just locked to the cylinder. So we'll see how we're gonna get this thing off once I get everything else loosened up, but maybe I'll spray a little WD-40 on there to loosen it up, heat it up. We'll see how we're gonna do this. But yeah, that would explain it right there. Chunked up the head, it's all chipped up. You can see in the top of the piston, it's all chunked up now and from hitting the top of the head, all the pieces that grenaded off. So we'll see what this thing looks like once I get the cylinder off. Go from there, so I'm not gonna use the head anyway. I'm gonna get a fat head racing one. But we'll finish getting this thing torn down and see what else we messed up.
Well, we got the thing off. Had to fight it quite a bit, as you guys just saw. But, uh, looks like can't even move this piston at all. The bottom end. Huge hole in the top. It looks like it didn't actually get the cylinder by the looks of it. Taking a better look inside here. I think we're good. I don't think I have to waste like $800 buying an OEM one or getting this fixed up. So I'm actually pretty stoked on that. I was, uh, for the past couple days before I tore this thing down, I just kept telling myself that the cylinder's good and I'm not going to have to replace it because uh, the night of I checked on Motorsport how much it would cost me and I wasn't too happy on like seven, eight hundred bucks for a new one. But honestly, looks pretty good and uh, just blew out the top it looks like. This is a couple other little shavings that uh, are still in there but for the most part it looks pretty solid. It's going to be hard to tell on camera to get a good angle and get light down in there for you guys to tell. But I think we're good to go. I think it's fine. We'll get the bottom end and everything else taken apart in probably next video where we'll get this thing fully down, get it all vapor honed, cleaned up. And then I'll decide what I want to do with this thing. If I want to uh, like Cerakote some stuff. I might just do the inside case right here like that uh, Cerakote, that bronze color. That way we can get rolling with this thing. And uh, the plan is to have it all finished up by like spring, summertime. I just got to not procrastinate and get everything ordered. Good to go. Get all the sponsors on board. And I know when I say sponsors, it's a touchy subject for some people. They can't really grasp or understand when I say sponsors. They think the only way you can get a sponsor is if you ride professionally. It's definitely not the case. If you understand anything about marketing and social media and stuff like that. It's all about how many eyes you can get on something and obviously I'm a dirt bike channel so any dirt bike company that sponsors the channel they're gonna get hundreds of thousands of millions of people see their product see me use it. That's huge for a company for uh, me organically kind of promoting it because I want to be as transparent as possible and kind of explain kind of on the back end how this stuff works especially when I mention these companies in the videos and you might not really understand um, like I said on the back end how this stuff works so pretty much They'll reach out to me, I'll reach out to them. Um, I Over the past couple builds, I've built a really cool relationship with a lot of the companies like Specbolt, WrenchRabbit, um, Pivotworks, Lectron, T-Bolt, Yoshimura, Raptor Titanium, pretty much all those companies that I always talk about. They've supported me on the past couple builds. So anytime I talk about a company like that or link them in the description, tag them on Instagram, pretty much uh, sponsor the channel, sponsored uh, a post on Instagram. But I'm sure a lot of you already knew that if you watch other people on YouTube. But well, regardless now, I'm relieved that I don't have to waste a bunch of money on a new cylinder. We'll get this bike fully torn down in the next video or just the parts that I'm gonna use. If I'm even gonna use anything. As of right now, I think I'm more leaning towards doing like the 2020 um, roller and fitting the engine into that. Shipping the frame out, getting it all re-welded up for the new mounts for the engine. But we'll see here once I make up my mind. But on that, I'm gonna end this video here. If you guys are new, subscribe, like the video. If you wanna see this thing finished up here in the next few months, see how that vapor cabinet works if you guys haven't seen it. I wanna see how I clean up all the parts, clean up the engine to make this thing look brand new. Come back next video. But on that, check out the build page if you wanna see what's going down on this thing before the videos come out. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.